semana quiero gozar. Después de una semana buscándome la vida, no me voy pa' la esquina, porque quiero gozar. Me monto en mi carrito y me voy pa' Kawash, me pongo brillosito, sale a figurear. Are you the greatest Cuban jazz, Latin jazz player of all time? Yeah, he's the man. Yeah, Cito Fuente. You play just about 30 seconds, Cito. With all his stuff, is, all his stuff is tight. Oh yeah, that's why I've been bringing you. See, I've been having them. See, I've been having them Latinos.
turn me back to the other jump. Darius Say Stanton live right here at www.elifemedia.net. We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. 2017, it runs from September 15th to October 15th, and we are celebrating the heritage of folks who are Native Americans prior to, of course, the conquest of the Spaniards, long before that, where the folks here building pyramids, with tombs, palaces, some were used as forts, but these buildings, these gigantic places that are still there, one interesting thing about the original tombs or pyramids of Egypt is that they are the same from its initial existence. However, the tombs in North and South America, Mexico and other parts of South America they were rebuilt, or I should say remodeled, based on the new king, because it was a part of the new king's legacy to redo, add on to, or modify 
the existing tombs. So, or I should say pyramids. Just a little piece of history with regard to Hispanic Heritage Month. You want to, you got a request, give us a call, 240-455-5934. We'll play a little bit of Santana, a little bit of Tito Puente. Uh, anybody love the merengue, cha-cha, any salsa fans out there, give me a shout. Let us know what's going on. We want to talk to you all month long. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. You know, it's just like African American Heritage Month. It shouldn't just be 30 days for black history. Black history goes throughout as well as Hispanic, the same scenario, because our Latin brothers and sisters who are native to this land uh, were Indians in here before Christ, thousands of years, is documented. Look it up, do the research. That's what we want to make sure we do here on the Peace in the Morning Show, asset-based. So we're going to be celebrating that heritage, and on Funky Friday, you know we got to give it up. So just to let you know that we're going to keep it fresh, and keep it fly because it's all rhythmic, all percussions, you know, horns and jams. We're going to crank up a little go-go because I know you like that too. Yeah, yeah, we're going to make that go-go transition, funk that up for Funky Friday. So share this. Let all your folks know what time it is. Tell them it's Funky Friday, full effect. Share this video. We're about to pump it. Take it to the next level with that uh, ah. Come on, uh-oh. -uh. Yeah, you know I love this place. Bring it up. Come on, come on. Don't be fried, you say. Work that stuff of the day. Come on, y'all. Work that stuff of the day. Come on, y'all. Work that stuff of the day. Come on, y'all. How y'all like that piece in the morning t-shirt? You better get you one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Peace and love. Peace and love.
Come on, you gotta break it on down now. Ow. Yeah, you gotta break it on down. Yeah, you should just pump me up. We should just pump me up. Y'all know something about that pump me up? Huh? Uh. Right, we're here live on Funky Friday with the Peace in the Morning Show. This is Darius A. Stanton. We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Paz y amor. That's peace and love in Spanish for you, baby. Come on now. Hey, listen, we are so excited to be able to celebrate cultures that are different from our own. We want to be able to celebrate other people. We have to celebrate other people because guess what? What's the root of other people? People, baby. We got to celebrate each other. While everybody else doing all this dividing and, and taking a side and, and slip sliding and trying to do one thing but saying another, you know, faking the funk with an ugly, ugly don't, hanging themselves on the rim and still acting like they slim, that's not working. We're not going for it. We're not worried about the NFL kicking a ticket. Everybody over there is millionaires. We want to deal with the real issue, which is what's happening with our brothers and sisters in the street. What's happening with our brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico right now? You know, let's get serious for a, for a moment. For a moment. I want to just say thank God for his goodness and his mercy, for teaching us to how to survive without electricity, without things that are modern conveniences, because some people will actually lose their minds when they don't have these modern conveniences to save them. But right now, 85% of the people in Puerto Rico are without electricity. Some are without good drinking water and food. And we are not making it a, I mean, just the mere fact that we have an administration that is in conversation about who should be getting the food to the people. To literally have somebody from FEMA say, it's the mayor's job. What is the mayor going to do when they have no transportation, no vehicles? What are they going to do? So, you know, we must take it upon ourselves to support people and take it outside of the hands of, because we're, I mean, really, we're the people that should be shouting up and down, screaming and making sure that Puerto Rico gets what it needs. There are enough people in the world that have jets and planes and resources that they can create, you know, its own resource. Don't depend on the government what people can do for themselves. We must help people to the best of our ability. So here on the Peace in the Morning Show, give us a call at 240-455-5934. Let us know you want to help because we are putting together a major effort to support the people in Puerto Rico, the people who look like you and I, the people who don't look like you and I, the mere fact that they're people. They're human beings. Let's start with the human nature. Let's start with where the origin of people Let's be human first, because when we focus on being human, our humanity makes us look out for another human being, women, children, men. It's time for us to support. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the media. Don't get distressed by it. Don't get turned off by it. Stay turned on. Stay pumped up. Stay all pumped up and ready to go, pumped up and ready to go. And we're going to pump it up right now with Trouble Funk, baby. Come on. Puerto Rico, give it to me. That's right. Funky Friday, baby. Give it to me. Come on. Hey, Thomasina, they cleaned up. My sister cleaned up the neighborhood. This a picture to my page, Thomasina. You and your son. Hey, look. Don't worry about it. Brother Lamonte Randy. Saw trash in the neighborhood. Went out there. Got some young people. Got some trash bags. Got some gloves. And started cleaning up. And then it got to be more clean. Come on. Do what you got to do. Don't wait on nobody. Just pump, 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 pump it up. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. That's right. Yeah, I might be solo in the studio, but I got you, baby. Ow. Got that piece in the morning show crew. Hey, y'all. Talk to me. Talk to me. Say what? Ow. Oh, hey, Gene. Gene McBride. He don't miss no funky Friday. That's right. Hey, Gene, give me a holler, brother. Step outside and give me a call. Four zero four five 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 nine three four. In gratitude, the earth wouldn't fly 
cover band. Talk about it being 
impoverished, well, it's poverty here in America. They talk about people being hungry. There's people here who not eating. There's people here who work every day and still having a hard time feeding their families. Can I get a witness? <laughs> yes, indeed. So it's tough there, but the people are making it, and they're strong. And check this out about Cuba, in case you didn't know. Cuba has the highest literacy rate in the Western Hemisphere. Let me say that again. Cuba has the highest literacy rate in the Western Hemisphere. 98% of Cuba's population is literate. When there are medical emergencies around the world, Cuba sends its doctors to support those nations. When China had czars, an outbreak of czars in their country, Cuba sent doctors to help solve the problem. When Trinidad's doctors, who are primarily Indian, East Indian, walked off the job under strike, it was Cuba that sent 90 doctors in and had their medical health programs back up and running in less than 90 days. Cuban doctors. So for all of the propaganda and all that you hear about Cuba being this and Cuba being that, Cuba's a beautiful country. I've been there. I talked to the people. I've been to Parliament. When Castro was still alive, he said, the people, the, the one, the we, people that we spoke to said, Castro is not the revolution. The people are the revolution. And that's what I want you to understand right now, that the revolution that we have, it's not about war. It's not about guns, gun control. It's about love. It's a love revolution. And that's one thing that we can be in harmony with no matter what, no matter what the color, no matter what the sex, no matter what amount of money you have, because when the storm comes, the money, the only thing the money can do is get you out if you have the transportation of vehicles. Other than that, when that storm comes, we all on the same playing field. Ask the people who are down in the Key West that couldn't get out. Ask the people who are underwater in Puerto Rico that have money. So I just want you to think about, you know, how important it is to put love over everything. And God is love. So there's no question about whether or not God is in the equation because God is love, period, point blank, right here on Funky Friday. Give us a call at 240-455-5934, 240-455-5934. Just a few actors who are famous. Anthony Quinn was born Antonio Rodolfo Ozako, Ozako Quinn on April 21st, 1915 in Chihuahua, Mexico. Uh, you know him, Anthony Quinn was in tons of movies, uh, been a two-time Academy Award winner. Penelope Cruz, another famous uh, Latino uh, actress here in America. Sofia Vigera, born and raised in Colombia, Modern Families actor. Edwin James Olmos, uh, this brother, you, you know, he was in, the actor in Blade Runner, um, Another Academy Award nominee, not a winner. Uh, Selena, she's also a uh, Latin American star. Let me see who else you might know that we can share with you. Uh, Benito Del Toro. Anybody seen the movie Traffic? Yeah, he was definitely a part of that. Uh, another Academy Award winner. Christina Aguilera. I saw her perform. Great day in the morning. Awesome performers. Powerful sister, another Latino American, uh, Latino performing and, and here on the stage in America and throughout the world. The Godfather, part three, Andy Garcia, another Latino here in America making a difference and a splash. And the list goes on and on. Uh, we wanted to make sure, as I said, we celebrate other people's heritage. You know, uh, I'm you know, African American, as you can see, uh, but we, you know, are original people. So we celebrate everybody because we're all part of the human family. We're all part of the human life. And so all of the things that's going on, I know it's a lot happening. I know it's a lot of negativity, but we focused on the asset this morning. You can get that everywhere else on TV. So we're not even going to delve too much into all of that other stuff. We're just going to pump it up, push it, and kick it and make it sound good for you this morning here on the Peace in the Morning Show. That's right. And as a matter of fact, after we crank this old school go-go right here, we bring you another Latin jazz tune. 
something real funky. We can do some merengue, some bachacha. But right now, we're gonna do some. We gotta freeze on everything. Come on. What's up, Jermaine Crawford? Hey, November 11th, we're having a leadership conference at Bowie State University, sponsored by the Education Department. Come on, come out there with our young people. Bring them out, November 11th. Bowie State College, Bowie State University. Hey, Senator Victor Ramirez, thanks for coming on the show this week. You did a phenomenal job on Political Monday. State's Attorney. Yeah, Prince George's County. About that EU freeze. Come on now. Here we go. Queen, the queen is back on the scene. 
If you know what I mean, the queen is back on the scene, baby. What's up, queen? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Come on, hashtag that. Peace and love. Mm. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Ow, oh, come on now. Yeah, that's right. Right here live at www.elifemedia.net. This is Darius Say Stanton with the Peace in the Morning Show. Saying peace and love to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, the week is behind us. We're looking to the weekend. Funky Friday is here. Make sure you funk it up all day long. Hey, when you finish this one, go look at another Funky Friday. Check us out on YouTube. That's right. Peace in the Morning Show, Funky Friday. That Chris Thomas show was hot. That Michael Collier show was hot. That original Funky Friday with me and the Queen, we tore it up. She shook it, rocked it, shook it, rocked it, rocked it, shook it, and broke it on down. You know what I'm saying? She did it all the way live. Uh, as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, which runs officially from September 15th to October 15th, not only do we love Latin food, but we also love Latin music, Latin culture. But one of the other things that we love about the Latino community is his work ethic, his work ethic and his ability to maintain family. You know, we make jokes and laugh about um, families living together, two and three families living in one house. Uh, we make fun of it all the time, you know, but think about it. You had two or three families living in one house. We could do that right now. You have three fours in your house. A brother came on the show and talked about it the other day. Why spend all of that money when three families could be living in that house, splitting the mortgage, building credit, saving money, and then when you're able to go buy your own, you go buy your own, but you're, going, you're able to set that up and put yourself in a position where now you are not renting anymore from somebody else, but you're renting from your family until you can jump out and start your own. So think about it. You know, we talk about people taking any kind of jobs. I do whatever I have to do to feed my family. That's going to keep me safe and alive to be there with them. No, I'm not going on the street to hustle and lose my life or sell death to my people. I'm not passing judgment because I'm not perfect. But I'm going to do what I can that's going to help people to help my people. And that help of my people starts at home. So, brothers, if you're living home with your mom, hey, contribute. You know, they say, um, shake, got jam. Get off of your hind pots and work, baby. You know what I'm saying? Come on, brothers, got to go to work. Y'all know you may not have seen it, but just think about your mother that took nine months to carry you. Then after she carried you, she had you. Then after she had you, she fed you. So if you're living at home with your mother, get up and do your thing. If you're not working, clean the house up. You know what I mean? Get the whole house spick and span. Have dinner for when she comes home until you get a job. When you get a job, keep on doing the same thing because we have got to put ourselves in a mode where we are helping and pushing each other. But it starts with ourselves. And in our families, the other thing that I wanted to, you know, outline is just a commitment. So why is it that the Latino community's population in 2050 is going to outpace African Americans, white Americans, and any other American here in the country. Why? Number one, because they are devoted, the majority, to the Catholic religion. And in the Catholic religion, their commitment to not using birth control or having abortion means that they can reproduce at a rate that other people who are not, in addition to their genetics. Okay? Not a recessive gene. So they'll continue to, so by 2050, the United States of America will be majority Spanish speaking. So guess what you better do? Get yourself a business that caters to Latinos or Hispanics. Learn how to speak Spanish. For sure, teach your children how to speak Spanish if you want them to be successful. Right now, if you come out of high school with four years of Spanish, you could go get a job and be paid more because you can speak to your English customers and your Latino customers. Why not prepare your children for that? So we got them playing sports. We got them training for basketball. We got them training for football all year long. All year long, we're training for football, a sport that causes concussions, a sport that can literally 
cripple you. I know people love it. I know a lot of energy and time is put into it. I get that. But if it's not good for us, we got to ask the key question, why I keep doing it? A little piece of uh, research for you. Locally, amateur contact football is dropping and flag football is picking up for young people. The numbers are decreasing on the football field. And it's not because of the money. It's because people are deciding that they do not want to put their children in danger and risk their lives. The NFL is 75% African American. 75% African American, 100% of the owners are Caucasian. So the African Americans are risking their lives for the million dollars that they're making, and the owners are not risking their lives for the billion dollars that they're making. You do the math. You think about it. There was a debate that was going on uh, the other day on Facebook talking about the NFL being compared to slavery. And um, a dear friend of mine made the comment that <coughs> things are much different now because the brothers are able to do well for their families and themselves, and in some cases for the community. This may be true, but at what cost? What's more important? The physical presence of a healthy father in the home that's well off to the point where they're mentally, physically, spiritually stable, or a father that's got a big house, a lot of cars, a lot of money, but incapacitated, but can't get up and run with his children, but can't play with his grandchildren. And by the time he's 45, 50, already having serious mental lapses and could potentially lose his life due to his brain being continuous, continuously mashed up in con one concussion after another. And see, in football, we taught you go out, you hit, get up, shake it off and get back out there. Shake it off and get back out there. Shake it off and get back out there. Be a man. Man it up. Shake it off and get back out there. At what cost? You do the homework. The NFL has already got a class action suit. They're playing all of their former NFL players that meet the criteria. All of them are being paid based on a concussion lawsuit. And the NCAA is doing the exact same thing right now. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. It's Funky Friday here on the Peace of the Morning Show. We're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. To all my brothers and sisters that are out there loving it. If you've been down to Cuba, shout it out to the South <laughs> South Beach, Miami home front. That's where I got my uh, Latin card. My wife took my black card back. She said, you ain't, you're not black no more. She said, you Latino. <laughs> That's right, because I was in the club all night long. Me and my baby was dancing all night long. Come on. Bring it up, son. Come on. Te lo invito, mi amigo, a que vamos para la fiesta. Te lo invito, mi amigo, a que vamos para la fiesta. Todo el mundo está gozando de una linda y buena orquesta. Todo el mundo está gozando de una buena. Sí, sí, yo te quiero invitar, a que vamos a la fiesta. Ahora te quiero invitar, a que vamos a la fiesta. Hay no muchas mujeres, nadie busca cerveza. Hay no muchas mujeres, nadie busca cerveza. Hey, Edgar, come on, baby.
Come on, you hear that? Come on, you hear it? Research this sister, New York Congresswoman Nadia Velquez. Nadia Velquez. Congressman Nadia Velquez. They interviewed Congressman, or I shouldn't say Congressman, Secretary Ben Carson uh, regarding President Trump's tweets. And without getting into the negative, they basically just talked about the importance of us standing up and providing the people of Puerto Rico what they need and deserve. And so I want you to look her up um, also because she is a direct link to providing aid and support. If you reach out to her office, she knows who and what organizations can get resources to the people of Puerto Rico who need it. You often hear the challenges of other agencies that are not providing the resources to the people that are being provided to them and trusted. People's hard-earned money. Sometimes people go without and donate to these organizations, and the organizations don't do the right things with the money. But in this case, Congressman Nadia Veliquez is uh, very active and very much informed with regard to what's going on on the ground there in Puerto Rico. So uh, make sure you reach out to her office that's Velaquez, V-E-L-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z. -E -E and we're sharing that right now on our Facebook, Darius A. Stanton page, as well as our Peace in the Morning show with Darius A. Stanton. So go check out that clip. Uh, reach out to her office today and find out if you can help. Because picture this. If you were stranded right now and you couldn't feed your family, 
as you pray to God, wouldn't you want somebody to make sure you got help? Wouldn't you want somebody that you knew that knows what's going on would reach out to you and help you? It's one thing to know that you're in a situation and nobody knows that you need help. But psychologically, what do you think it does to you if you know people know that you need help and they're not giving it to you? So take the color off the table. Take American citizen off the table. They're paying taxes there. The tax rate there in Puerto Rico is 11%. 11%. And they are not voting members in Congress. They have representation, they have taxation without representation. So they need our help right now. Give us a call at 240-455-9934. 240-455-9934. We're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month right here on Funky Friday with the Peace in the Morning Show. And uh, we're coming back with another Latin jam. Uh, shout out to our brother Tito Puente, who's passed and gone on, but put one of the toughest Latin jazz, probably one of the greatest, definitely the most well-known, one of the greatest jazz, Latin jazz players in all, uh, all history of Latin jazz. Come on. Que tu boquita me tiene loco, chula. Y por si acaso, las tres mías también suenan, ¿eh? Come on. Get your workout on on this Monday Friday, baby. Come on. Yo quiero que todo el mundo me diga. Come on, Chica. You know what up? Chupa. Osman de la Oda. A sofocar. A sofocar. Si tu boquita fuera de arroz con llame. Si tu boquita fuera de arroz con llame. Yo me la pasaría. Lambe que lambe. Yo me la pasaría. Lambe que lambe. appreciate you. Uh, we're going to play a little clip, just a clip of this funk when we jam it up, you know, and then we're going to shift back to the go-go and roll it on out like we always do on Funky Friday. Uh, Jay-Z, baby, show me what you got, little mama. Show me what you got, pretty lady. So this is also National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And here on the Peace of the Morning Show, as we promote asset-based communications, we acknowledge the fact that there are women and men children, families that have been devastated by domestic violence. 
However, we do not want to continue to promote what we want to see in. Therefore, the Peace in the Morning Show, in conjunction with Men Aiming Higher, 100 Fathers Incorporated, and other organizations have adopted Men for Domestic Peace. And the reason why we're promoting Men for Domestic Peace is because men are still in control of the world. Still the most heads of state, still the most heads of 500, Fortune 100 companies around the world, still the heads of most uh, religious organizations around the world are men. So men help in leadership, help to set the culture. And the first culture starts where? Come on, Facebook family, talk to me. Where? At home. It starts at home. And so we've got to create an environment for men that create domestic peace. Frank Malone from 100 Fathers, look him up, powerful brother. He gave, yesterday's show was so powerful. When I left out of here, I was on a high. I was on a spiritual high from the knowledge that those brothers shared yesterday. Delegate Daryl Barnes gave some statistics on men being abused. One man is, a man is abused in domestic violence every 12 seconds. 40% of domestic violence victims are men. And so often, because men are supposed to seem physically strong and that physicality depends, di di dictates manhood. But in reality, responsibility is what really dictates manhood. Accountability dictates manhood. And so we want to just acknowledge the fact that we are promoting men for domestic peace. Domestic peace, my sisters. Domestic peace, my brothers. And of course, we're talking across all racial boundaries, all economic boundaries, because it's hitting all of us. It's impacted all of us, churches, temples, you name it. And unfortunately, this is the saddest part. The majority of the domestic, domestic violence perpetrators are family members that are abusing their own children, that are neglecting their own children, sexing them, basically slaving them, damaging them psychologically. And one of the things that Frank Malone said from 100 Fathers yesterday on the men's round table here on the Peace in the Morning show was that one of the things that starts domestic violence is profanity. So in substance abuse, there's something called increased readiness, meaning if you smoke cigarettes, then you, you're bound to start drinking. If you start drinking, you're bound to start doing some other drug. Then you go from cigarettes to putting, sprinkling cocaine on the cigarettes, dippers, or you start smoking uh, marijuana with Love Boat and PCP, and you put PCP on it, uh, then pencyclidine, uh, aminal tranquilizer, uh, and then you go from that or you go to the other side of the other route with alcohol and pills, uh, heroin and opiates, okay? So, but it starts at that cigarette, <coughs> starts at that alcohol, which starts at home. They see mom smoke, look, they repeat what we do. They see dad smoke, they, see, they repeat what we do, period, all of our children. So the same thing applies with profanity. And unfortunately, you just think about the many videos that are out there now where people are literally, I mean literally, recording their children cussing and, and laughing about it and sending it to somebody. And one time you just call on the phone and say, girl, you won't believe what she just said. She told me, get out of my face, B. I told that little blah, 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 and laughed about it and joking. But now they're recording it and sending it out. Toxic parenting. And it starts with the language that we use at home. So it's no mistake that we say peace and love instead of H-E-L-L-O because we want to promote what we want to see come into existence. So I'm asking you today on Funky Friday from the Peace in the Morning show, so let's put a lid, myself included, on the profanity because those profound words, those negative impacting words are impacting our children and our atmosphere. Now, let's be clear about the word bitch. It's a female dog. It's not the connotation that it's placed in. The negative connotation is placed on it. But if we're not that, then we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be promoting that. We should be promoting something positive. We should be calling queen, like my brother Lamont Randall say, peace queen. 
you know, uh, preach my sister, promote our sisters, encourage our sisters, tell them how beautiful they are. You see sisters with natural hair, embrace that natural hair. Because unfortunately, I know it's about convenience for a lot of sisters, I get that. You go to work, if you want to work out and try to keep yourself in shape and slim, but then you go to work, your hair is looking like it didn't, uh, never, you never got it done, and you can't be in a situation like that. So you braid it, you, you do something else to it. But my sisters, you are beautiful as you are. Embrace who you are. And think about the power of you. Love you for you. Top to bottom, side to rear. If you want to work it out, you want to slim it down, work it. Drink alkaline water. Put yourself on a plant-based diet, a plant-based nutrition plan. Stay focused and tied to improving your health, drinking more water, cut out the white, cut out the sugar, the salt, the flour, cut it out. Rice, and for me, cut out white potatoes. It's hard for me. <laughs> and French fries, they son. They you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, but I'm working it. I'm working it out. I did a five-day fruit juice fast. Me and my wife. We did a five-day juice mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. You know, working it out. I'm still working it, pushing on the raw. You know? Mm -hmm. So I'm about 85, 90% raw right now. I'm liking the feeling good. You see me up here working and I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. Sweating. Oh, dripping wet. Oh, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. We got to show me what you got. Come on now. Oh, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Hey, check it out. Come check us out tomorrow. We will be at St. Mark's United Methodist Church. And uh, we will be speaking along with Larry White Sr. Larry White, if you're out there, give us a shout right now. We'll bring you in on the Facebook Live. Larry White, see if we can bring you up while we crank it up and see if we can uh, bring this real quick in here, jam this funk up. That's right, turn it up, start it from the beginning. Here we go. It's my jam. Yeah, that's all right. Rewind that joint one more time so they can hear that. One more time. Yes. This is State of Emergency. State of Emergency, baby. Puerto Rico's in trouble. We need your help. What you want me to do? We're going to work. Hey. There you go. That's right. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us on the Peace in the Morning show. Remember Puerto Rico. Join us tomorrow from uh, 10 to 1 at St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Anne Arundel County near Maryland Live. If you're in the DMV, come on out and hear these phenomenal speakers network with some powerful leaders. The Peace in the Morning show will be live. Uh, we will broadcast live from the uh, uh, Larry White VIP concierge event. We're looking forward to seeing you. If I had Larry White on the line, I'd bring him in real quick. Get him on there, get him on there. Let me see if I can bring him in. See if I can bring my brother on real quick. The beauty of technology, where you at Larry White? Let me see if we can bring you in, brother. See if you're in a position. Cause I know you like the jam, that's right, come on. Ain't no half stepping, baby. Hey brothers, come on, time to step up. Sheila Finlayson, congratulations to you. You got a third term, sister. Let's go to work. Come on. Hey, Keisha Papa Rogers. What's up, man? Oh, I see you, Richie. Yeah, what's up, she Richie? Come on. Hey, Rosie Ross. Rosie Ross in the house. Adrian H. Jones. What's up, my brother? Now you know. Tyler Perks, and you on the road, homeboy. Shantae, what's up? Talk about the H2O crew. Oh. Good girl.
What's up, man? Here we go. I said, ooh, la, Tony on the microphone. Don't mess with him. He won't leave you alone. He gon' push it. He gon' rock it hard. Just call him up on the telephone. Get him, ooh, la, Tony. Say what now? Oh. Say, ooh, la, Tony. Say what now? Oh. Say, ooh, la, Tony is your homeboy. Ooh, la, Tony is the real McCoy. He's funkin' it. And he keeping it live on Funky Friday. It ain't no jive, we push it on the piece in the morning show. We crank it and we never ever let you go. All day we rock it with you. You don't catch me now, catch me on YouTube. Come on now. Ooh la la la. Ooh la Tone. Say ooh la Tone. Say ooh la Tone. To my people in Morocco, what's up? To my people in Egypt, what's up? To my people in Gambia, what's up? Uh, to my Ethiopian, what's up? A Lord Abbey, a uh, peace and love. A uh, Lord Abbey, a uh, peace and love. A uh, Francois, a uh, peace and love. A uh, Jeremy, a uh, peace and love. Hey, Emmanuel in Trinidad, you know what's up, Pop Baba Dad. You're my main brother, my main man. Come on, y'all, and just clap your hands. Hey, Bird Chambers, what's up, boy? Come on now. Yeah, let me hear you say it. One more time, one more time. Say, ooh la tone, 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 ooh la tone. On the piece in the morning show. Just keep on getting down. Keep on getting down. Ooh, let's broken, broken, broken sound. Come on now. Get up now. Hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Friday, Friday, uh. Friday, 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 yeah, that's how we do it, baby, on the Peace in the Morning Show, listen, thank you so much for joining us, we are looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, in the house, that's right, I said in the house, as a matter of fact, I'm going to give it to you straight, so you can see exactly where we are, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, if you're in the DMV, you need to come out and be with me, because we're going to put it up, we're not putting it down. We're going to put it up. That's right, asset-based communications. We are going to be talking about retooling leadership. we got to change how we lead. We have got to change how we lead. We can't keep putting people, I mean, politics over people. Just can't keep doing that. We can't keep putting ego over everything. We have to put our ego in our back pocket. Stop breaking and creating barriers because you don't like this person, because you don't like this organization, because it's not your sorority, not your sorority, not your fraternity. Get rid of that. Get, get that, throw that out the window. It's time for us to lead. So tomorrow, 1440 Dorsey Road, Hanover, Maryland, you will be able to hear some powerful speakers. The special VIP guest speaker, PK Kersey, from New York City, will be in the house right here in Maryland. Uh, the sister, powerful, powerful sister coming to the stage uh, tomorrow. You'll get a chance to meet her. Nicole Nixon, big supporter. You want to be there with her company. You want to be a part of that. That is definitely something that you want to be on board with. So come on out, check out uh, all of the folks that are going to be at this networking event from 10 to 2. Come meet the Peace of the Morning crew. We're going to be out there live uh, making sure that we bring you aboard at St. Mark's United Methodist Church. 10 o'clock to 1 p.m., 1440 Dorsey Road. So go to my page, Darius, Mr. Peace of Love Stanton, or the Peace of Love of the Morning Show with Darius A. Stanton. This is myself, loving you all that I got, giving it to you, love you so much. We're rolling out on that Latin American music, the Hispanic Heritage Month, September 15th to October 15th. Do your homework, do your research, Find out what we do to bring each other together, not talking about each other, putting each other down. And last but not least, look, let's take profanity out of our language. Take it out of our music. Just take it out of the household altogether. If, to if profanity is the root to toxicity for our children, let's get rid of it. What's more important, our children's growth? Because our children's growth means our legacy continues. If our legacy is strong, our people are strong. If our people are strong, our nation is strong. Come on now.
vamos. 